I think one of the biggest advantages of using stone in a sustainable project is that it essentially lasts forever. It goes a lot deeper than just finding materials within a few hundred miles of your job site. Um, to actually select a material that has the durability, uh, strength and uh, endurance uh, for the uh, building life cycle is really the bottom line. Uh, natural stone is 100% natural. There are no synthetic aspects to it. It's made by Mother Nature and, and therefore I think one of the most uh, green materials available. All we have to do is look at historical structures from the Great Pyramids to the Roman Colosseum, all constructed with natural stone and have endured for thousands of years. Whether you're an architect, designer, contractor, or a consumer, the more you know about natural stone in this new era of green building, the more you realize that it's the natural choice when it comes to sustainable building materials, as well it should be. Natural stone is the original building material, utilized ever since man started constructing things. In reality, because of its inherent durability, flexibility, longevity, combined with its incredible beauty, natural stone is also in a class by itself when it comes to sustainability. That's why the Marble Institute of America has produced this short video to give you an insight into the sustainable attributes of natural stone, clear up any misconceptions about stone and sustainability, and offer other avenues for learning even more about how to incorporate stone in commercial, institutional, and residential projects. In the quest for more sustainable building design and execution, the proponents of green building have identified four major areas, the reduction of energy use, CO2 emissions, water use and solid waste, Careful integration of natural stone in interior and exterior design can be a major factor in reducing all of these byproducts. In addition, stone itself is an attractive, functional, cost-effective material. In the past, natural stone was often considered too expensive for all but the most elegant buildings. But over the last quarter century, improvements in quarrying, processing, and installation technology have drastically reduced cost and allowed previously untapped quarries around the world to significantly heighten production and reduce costs. The new technology has also helped to reduce the environmental impact of quarrying and hasten sensitive reclamation of these quarries. Architect Ed Farr of Minneapolis says harvesting local materials only goes so far in the sustainability equation. You have to look beyond, uh, especially in Stone's case, you have to look beyond just that uh, 100 mile radius and find something that will outlive or perform uh, many other building material choices and I think stone does an excellent job of that. Since natural stones like granite, marble, limestone, travertine and others are virtually indestructible, stone can be recycled into many different forms. It can be cut into different sizes and shapes and finishes uh, all on the same project to meet multiple needs. Natural stone also works well with most other major building materials. Natural stone competes with brick and concrete, steel and glass, um, and, and I think with the, with the most successful projects, uh, oftentimes you use a combination of all these materials to uh, achieve the design goals as well as the sustainable goals of the project. Versatile natural stone has many other sustainability assets. It requires little or no maintenance, performs consistently through wide temperature changes, is salvageable and recyclable, and is readily available. Producing stone actually can take less energy than producing other type materials. Stone contributes to indoor air quality as it does not off-gas. It's essentially a permanent material. The demand for sustainable design and building practices is growing rapidly for a number of reasons, including an unprecedented level of government initiatives, heightened residential demand for green construction, improvements in sustainable materials, increased demand for green standard certifications, and the importance of social responsibility. The Willow School in Gladstone, New Jersey is an excellent example of sustainability at work. Use of natural stone was decided upon early in the process and local and or recycled stone was utilized to achieve sustainability goals and lowered life cycle costs. The stone used in the classrooms came from the remains of two barns and a house from eastern Pennsylvania dating to the 19th century. Other recycled stone work also was included. Another example is Jefferson Hall, 
the library at West Point Academy at West Point, New York. Among the project goals were to provide ample daylight and break down the fortress-like physicality and mindset of historic buildings. Among the sustainable features were water conservation, construction waste recycling, energy modeling, and indoor environmental quality. The project included 1,586 tons of granite variegated with pink veining. Sandstone in a terracotta buff was also utilized. Sustainability, it's here to stay. If you would like more information on sustainability and natural stone, a good place to start is www.marble-institute.com sustainability.